today I'm going to be doing a declutter on a couple of palettes that I no longer use. These I already use, I still use, so some of them are not going to be decluttered. Some of them are going to be decluttered. Some of them are going to be a maybe, but I guess we'll get through the process together um, as I do one by one palette. So let's start with this one. The Nubian, Nubian by Julia, Ju, ah. <laughs> the Nubian by Julius. This one, I think I'm going to declutter because I have something similar, which would be the Minted palette. And I feel like most of those colors are similar. If you see that one, you see this one see this one and I kind of like the pigmentation more on the melted palette like it is it's good both don't get me wrong both is good but something about that melted oh, Julius too though oh gosh it's gonna be kind of hard but you know what forget it I'm just gonna I'm going to dump you because I don't need all that shadow because I have a bunch of these in different shadows. So you're going to be kept. And unfortunately, you're going to be gone. Okay, next. Let's see. Hmm. All right, so let's start from the Gemini's. Let's start from Melt. All right, I love... This palette, let me take this off. So I love um, this palette, but I don't get to use it as much, but I feel like I will have use for it soon. So I'm gonna keep it just off the fact that I love this shade. I love, I like this shade, I like that shade. So I like Lovesick, I love LX Queen. And this one is cute too. Oh, and I love my green, so I'm deaf. Right, I'm definitely keeping this. I ain't gonna keep talking about it. I'm keeping that one. So this one is a cap. Gemini. This is the green one. So this one is really good too. So I'm gonna keep this one because I love my greens. These greens are fire. Like seriously. These are like amazing and in this shimmer it don't it's not powerful but it's enough for me to work with so i'm keeping this palette not only for how it looks but how it performs as well so this is being kept too now my next melt is she's in a party this one you know the only thing i don't like really too much about melt is the palette like i feel like some of it like is for instance this one crumbles I got to pick it back in. But other than that, she makes some good formula. And I forever will keep buying what looks good to me. And which has an amazing color story. So this one is automatically staying. <sighs> the Morte palette. This palette, the, what's so me is the design and how it looks. I always like the Day of the Dead, like how they have their costumes, how they walk around and, you know, they pay their respects and stuff. Um, oh, my camera. So how they pay their respects and stuff. And I've always been very into the art. And this one caught my eye. I love for what it stands for. Um, but I'm not going to wear these colors as much. Like I'm a neutral chick. I like neutrals, I like purples, I like greens. I like red, how it looks on me, but if I like eyeshadow, it's cool too, but I don't see much. You know what? This is a tricky one because I don't have no reds in my collection besides my own earthly, but that red right here is tempting. Like, oh. This is why I cut my wrist and I'm bleeding out. <laughs> no, but it's it's very tempting. Like, uh, 
I'm gonna put this on the the maybe. I'm gonna put on maybe. It's gonna go in the middle here. All right. So next is the rust palette by Melt. This one looks too much to me, like the Biba. And Biba shimmers is way better. These shimmers is not that good. So this one can go only because I have, let me see something. Where's the Biba? Like, if you look, you see the same colors real quick. And I feel like it's too similar. It's too similar. Like, this color looks like that almost. All you can even say is almost that. This one looks like that one. You can say this one is basically that one a little bit. You can say that one is basically that. It's just too similar of a palette that I don't need to. This was one palette I could use for, like, a travel. But, um... I'm going to keep it as a, a maybe. This is going to maybe. Since I'm on the Biba, this one, this one is saying on me. This one is it's just so pretty. And it costs too freaking much. I ain't buying another one. <laughs> I'm keeping this one. Um, Next, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think this is a Nouve palette. Nouve? Nou mm -hmm. You know what I mean. But this one is beautiful. I particularly love terracottas. And this one, this, hmm, hmm, that color right there sold me. It sold me. Oh, and then this green. It sold me. I'm sold. It's, it's, it. This one is staying. You're staying. Okay. Okay. Spectrum Palette by Linda Holberg. This one I like for the art. I'm a sucker for art, and I feel like this gravitated towards me because of the art. But don't get me wrong. The colors are pretty. The shimmers, nah, they all right. But um, I don't reach for this at all since I got it. And I got it off my card, and I don't reach for it. So this one can go. Next. Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Jackie Anna. So, straight out of the box, these colors are fabulous. They they work amazing. They like everything you can want in a shadow. But the only thing I have is I don't wear these colors, like at all. And I feel like they're just sitting there. So, amazing in palette, but it's not really for me. So, it's gone. Okay, as we get further to the ending of this, I may have a part two. I don't know. See how this video goes, but I may have part two. But Natasha Denona Trio Chrome Palette. Love it. I just love this one. I love it for the fact that Natasha Denona put in this color. And the purples are here. All my purples that I like. But this color itself, this shift right here. That alone sold me, and and that one, those two sold me for like, oh, they sold me. That's why this one forever will be in my collection. Okay, so next we go to the gold palette. I love this palette. I don't get to use it as much. I don't go out as much as I used to, but I will be 2023 New Year, you know me. But um, I think this color right here. This color has really made me a stalker. <laughs> Look at it. It just, it's just so good me. Oh. I have to keep this one. I'm keeping the gold for the simple fact that my shimmers in here is beautiful. Not to mention it has greens. I love my greens. So it's definitely saying. Um, next, the Lily Lila palette. It's a Lily. Where did I get Lily from? Lila Pally by Natasha Denona. I'm a purple junkie, so it's definitely staying with me. 
like it's purples, it's pinks, it's nudes, like it's stand, especially because I love oh, my always stand on this shade. Who in the world let you out the door? Like what? I just love that. Look, bitch. This color is sexy. Now I'm looking at all of these. I'm like, yo, I can make my own palette with that. Like how amazing one, two, three, four is, I could do it myself. Just with those colors alone. All right, let me stand. All right, this is already our new stand. I ain't even need to tell y'all this thing. Oh, okay, so moving on. <sighs> the metropolis, the metropolis is pop palette. It's staying. It's it's one of my babies. I don't use it, but it got some shimmers I like, and those shimmers are so pretty. It's staying because I want it. <laughs> this one, <sighs> Natasha Retro Palette, is so pretty, right? It's a pretty palette. Don't get me wrong. It's mad pretty. And it has the, all the colors I like, like purples and purples, pinks, and shimmers. I'm not a really good shimmer person. I'm like, more like a, a a chrome, if they say it, or one of those things. You know what I mean. But this one is so pretty. There, that bang right there. Bang. Bang. Like, come on. Hmm. This one... Only thing can get me mad is when I dip my finger in this one. Or when I put the try to blend this one out. This one gets on my nerves. Other than that, it's beautiful. And I'm keeping it just alone for the pinks and purples. It's kept. Okay, this one I created from Lethal, Lethal Cosmetics. And I copy makeup just for fun. Her, her Instagram. She has made this palette summertime. Thought it was so beautiful. And then I wanted to try it. And when I did, it came out just like hers. And I'm so happy with it. Like, I think I'm going to have to do some more Lethal Cosmetics. Because this is good. This is real good. So, just want to see that. Oh. Hold on, I'm not done. Oh. Look at that. This is top five palette. This, those colors alone. Those multi-chromes. Y'all be sleeping on these indie brands, man. Like. Oh, please. This one is staying because it's fire. This is my baby. You stay. Okay, so we're getting down to the last three palettes before this is over. This is Tiny Marvels. This was Mel Thomas collab with Sydney Grace. I started watching Mel um, a year, year or two ago. I wasn't like watching her for since she started, but I started watching her a year or two ago, and I loved her. She was just amazing to watch. She was honest. She was beautiful. And I loved her tattoos. I always just tell her that. I love your tattoos. They're so beautiful. And, like, I'm a freak for art. Like, not freak, but I'm obsessed with art. And it just, she was like a walking art picture to me. And I'll forever remember her that way. And this palette spoke volume to me because it looked just like her tattoos and her. It just feels like it's her vibe. And she will be missed. And I will forever keep buying anything that comes out with her that is supporting her family. So this palette I'm keeping just because I love it. And it's very sentimental because it's my first YouTubers. Besides Kinky Sweat, Mel Thomas was the first YouTubers for makeup I started watching. And Mel introduced me to watching Kinky. So that says a lot. So... <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm keeping this palette just off of sentimental value. And not only that, the art cover is beautiful. I'm going to find some ways to work this. I'm going to watch a couple people videos. I'll probably watch like Kinky Sweat, Mel's original video. I found some great ideas in this. And Chelsea, you'll definitely look into. And I know um, Chelsea, she's like around the same complexion as me. And I think I'm going to watch her videos as well just to get some ideas to, to really rock this palette. Like I want to watch it. But definitely keeping it. Next is the second to last of this part declutter. Um, Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. 
It's amazing. Again, what else can I ask for? I love my purples. It has my purples. It has my shimmers. It's like, this is the best summertime palette. I haven't used it really, but to create the looks I've seen on these, I'm going to be creating with this in the summer. And I, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it because I see what I can do with it. And the potential is more higher than the non. So it's being kept. <sighs> Last but not least, a new baby, but true baby. Natasha Denona, my dream palette. <sighs> I love this palette too. I'm not, a, I'm not like, I don't know. I like, I'm not obsessed with it, but I can, I can understand it. So if that makes sense, I'm a, not obsessed, but I can understand it. And I can understand it that it packs a punch. And not only that, did she not come through with this color? Did she not give you that shift in that color right here? Like, look at that color. Okay? The shimmers, off the back, the shimmers is amazing, Anna, from everything she's made. This, I feel like she really created to, like, stand out. And that's what it's doing. It's standing out in my collection. And it's being kept. So... Let's recap what I'm keeping versus what I'm not. But before I recap on that, let me go back to some ones that I said I was not sure. So, I could, so these two I said I wasn't sure about. I think I kind of made a decision. And I'm going to get rid of the rest that one's going to get by. And I'm getting rid of this one. I love it, but I don't see myself wearing the colors as much. So, these two. This one. This one. And this. So, that's one, two, three, four, five. Excuse me, palettes. I will be, five palettes I will be getting rid of. Out of my collection so far. This is only part one. I have so much more that I need to go over. But what I'm keeping, for the sake being, I feel like I didn't get rid of nothing. Dang. What, what did I get rid of? So, I'm keeping these. So, guys, please like, share, subscribe if you haven't. Um, let me know in the comments if you would like more recolor videos from me. Um, once I do get to a certain amount of subscribers, I will try to invest in a better camera. Because right now I'm using my iPhone. And it's kind of hard to do that in videos. So, let me know if you want a part two to declutter. Because I have so much more. I have some Pat McGrath. I have some more Natasha. Um, I have even more Anastasia, Anastasia um, videos that I could put up, but let me know if you want a nail declutter as well, because I do have a, I have like over a hundred nail polishes from a lot of different brands that I want to declutter. Um, let me know if you want a part two to this declutter, because I'll definitely give it to you. But other than that, please like, subscribe, comment. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, Definitely to the next video. I hope you guys have a good one and enjoy. Thanks.